We'll push the whole world to be more ambitious. That's why we're engaged in this. And that's why Australia can't afford to just walk away. This is about our economy. It's about our jobs, but it's also about our environment. Since I've been Prime Minister, I have attended natural disasters in New South Wales, Tasmania, the Kimberley, the Adelaide Riverland, Northern Tasmania, the Gold Coast hinterland, far north Queensland. We are a country that is prone to extreme weather events and climate change is making those extreme weather events more intense and more frequent. The idea that we will just walk away from any action on climate change is an abrogation of the responsibility that I have and that the Australian government has, not just to this generation, but to future generations as well. Prime Minister Peter Dutton this morning, Peter Dutton this morning, Prime Minister, signed a pledge to raise the minimum age of social media just to 16 if elected. Will you commit to doing the same? Well, we're actually, we're actually doing stuff, uh, not just... Uh, Peter Dutton signed a pledge, did he, today? Well, he'll sign a different one in a week's time because he can't hold a position for a week. Um, the truth is that what we're doing is investing and we announced in the budget $6.5 million uh, for uh, the process to examine uh, how this can be done effectively. Uh, I've said uh, repeatedly, as has Michelle Rowland, that we have uh, a major issue with our young people I know that parents on the sidelines of, uh, of footy games or netball games after school are talking about the issue of harm which has been done to our young people with engagement uh, in social media in a way uh, that causes uh, distress, that can cause anxiety and this is something that we need a whole of government response to but a whole of society response to as well, and that's what we're doing. I think someone had a question for... Oh, sure. OK. He's enjoying this. Premiers usually like having press conferences with me because when I finish, they walk off with me as well. So... We export resources to the world, including to China. Uh, that's a source of revenue and wealth here in Australia, as well as contributing globally. One of the things about where Australia is positioned uh, with uh, critical minerals, rare earths, if you look at uh, a design of a country for the global transition that is going on, you would pick Australia. We have the space to have large-scale solar, and renewable energy to produce green hydrogen, which then can be used to produce green metals, green aluminium, green steel. We have copper, vanadium, lithium, uh, we cobalt, nickel. We have all of the minerals and resources that will power the world in the 21st century, just as fossil fuels powered the world in the 20th century, led to enormous growth 